Chapter 12, Mishnah 1. It is a basic rule of the laws of Tuma that Kalim can become Tame only if they serve people, and not if they serve animals or other Kalim. The Mishnah illustrates this rule. A person's ring can become Tame because it decorates a person, but a ring of an animal or a ring of Kalim or any other type of ring is Tahor because it serves an animal or a Kli, not a person. Other types of metal Kalim. A beam that is used as a target for arrows can become Tame because it serves a person in that it helps the archer to aim. But a beam used for restraining prisoners is Tahor because it does not perform any work. It is no more than a dead weight that holds the prisoner down. However, a collar that is placed around a prisoner's neck to restrain him can become Tame because it performs work in the sense that it is a portable item worn by the prisoner whenever, wherever he goes. The Mishnah discusses various types of metal chains. A chain with a lock that is attached to a horse's leg can become Tame because it serves the owner in that it prevents the horse from being stolen. But a chain that was made for tying around a small animal such as a monkey or puppy is Tahor because its purpose is to decorate the animal. A chain used by merchants to prevent their measuring cups from being stolen can become Tame because it serves a person. But a chain used by a homeowner for his measuring cup which merely decorates the cup rather than secured from theft, is Tahor, because it serves the Kli. Rabbi Yossi disagrees with the last ruling. Rabbi Yossi said, when is the chain of a homeowner's measuring cup unable to become Tame? When it has only one link. Since people do not generally make a chain of only one link, it is not considered a Kli. But if it has two links or more, or if a piece that resembles a Chilazon, a certain type of sea creature, was attached to the end of it, it can become Tame because it is intended to serve the owner by preventing the cup from being stolen.